वेलकम एंड नमस्कार टाइम सीरीज एनालिसिस मूविंग एवरेजेस एंड नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग केस इन व्हिच वी आर गोइंग टू मेक अ कंपैरिजन बिटवीन फोर इयरली सेंटर्ड मूविंग एवरेजेस एंड फाइव इयरली वेटेड मूविंग एवरेजेस विद वेट्स 1 2 2 2 1 रिस्पेक्टिवली एंड द रिजल्ट्स विल बी इंटरेस्टिंग यस Uh, this is the time series with 11 years and values as we know to calculate four yearly or odd number of period cycle moving averages we need to find out moving averages two times in which first we have to consider the given period of cycle and then we have to go for two period moving averages again and that is known as centered moving averages Yes, let's go for the first stage. Four yearly moving totals. Totals of four totals are written exactly in the center. That means in no man's land because in four years in the center exactly there is nothing. So the totals will be written again second and third year or third period. Okay, first will be for first four. Nine plus eleven twenty plus fifteen thirty five plus thirteen forty. Eight. It is written exactly between second and third. Okay. Now the total of second to fifth. Forty-eight minus nine. Thirty-nine plus ten. Thirty. So it's forty-nine. Then total of third to sixth. Forty-nine minus eleven. Thirty-eight plus twelve. Fifty. Then fourth to seventh. 50 minus 15, 35 plus 16, 51. Then fifth to eighth, 51 minus 13, 38 plus 19, it will be 57. Then sixth to ninth, 57 minus 10, 47 plus 15, 62. Then seventh to tenth, 62 minus 12 50 plus 13 63 and then the total of last four values 63 minus 16 47 plus 9 56 nothing against first and second and last two years okay these are the totals of four so if we divide these by four we can have the Four yearly moving averages. First will be forty-eight divided by four. That means twelve. Second, forty-nine divided by four. Twelve point two five. Fifty divided by four. Twelve point five. Fifty-one divided by four. Twelve point seven five. Fifty-seven divided by four. Fourteen point two five. Sixty-two divided by four. Fifteen point five zero. Sixty-three divided by four. Fifteen point seven five. Fifty-six divided by four means fourteen. Nothing against first two and last two years. Now, if we observe these moving averages are not against any particular year, so they cannot be treated as trend values because trend values are always of a specific year or a specific period. Then how can we treat this? amounts or numbers as trend values because they don't belong to any particular year or years so we need to do something further again and the only way available is to find out the two period moving averages of all these amounts so that the final moving average will be against particular year and then only we can treat them as trend values so let's go for it 24.25 will be the total similarly see that total is against third year and now it will, next will be again fourth fifth and so on i had advised in earlier lecture also here also i advise you that whenever you calculate moving averages <coughs> for an even number of cycle please leave one line between the two years so that you can write them in the 
line left between the two years so that the presentation of your answer will be in the most proper way now the total of these two 24.75 total of these two 25.25 total of these two 27 total of these two 29.75 total of these two 31.25 and total of these two 29.75 yes now we need to divide all these by 2 only and it will be 24.25 divided by 2 12.125 then 24.75 divided by 2 12.375 see now the trend value now the moving averages are exactly against specific years third year fourth year and so on you are writing in a ruled paper so now you can see all these are properly against any year so now only these can be treated as trend values this is the trend value for third year this is the trend value of fourth year and next will be for fifth year and so on next total is 25.25 divided by 2 will be 12.625 then 27 divided by 2 will be 13.5 then 29.75 divided by 2 14.875 then 31.25 divided by 2 15.625 and 29.75 divided by 2 will be 14.875 these are the trend values and as usual against first two and last two years nothing will be there because this is the four yearly cycle now the same time series we are going to find out the weighted moving averages for five years with weights one two 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 and one respectively for five years the middle year will be the third year so first total will be written against third year in this case there will be Sorry, we will not write anything between the gaps of two years because five means odd. In case of odd period cycle, there is always a specific year or period in the center. Yes, okay. Now, 9 into 1 plus 11 into 2 plus 15 into 2 plus 13 into 2 plus 10 into 1. And the total comes to 97. The second total will be of second to sixth value. But which weights? 11 into 1 plus 15 into 2 plus 13 into 2 plus 10 into 2 plus the new is 12 into 1. And the total is 99. Next total will be of 3rd to 7th value and it will be written against 5th because 5 is in the center. 15 into 1 plus 13 into 2 plus 10 into 2 plus 12 into 2 plus the new value coming in is 16 into 1. And the total is 101. The next will be the total of 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 6 is in the center. So, 13 into 1 plus 10 into 2 plus 12 into 2 plus 16 into 2 plus the new coming value is 19 into 1. And the total is 108. Next total will be of 6th, sorry, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th and 9th value and 7 is in the center. So, now 10 into 1 plus 12 into 2 plus 16 into 2 plus 19 into 2 plus the coming new value is 15 into 1. The total is 119. 
the next total will be of 6, 7, 8, 9th and 10th value. 8 is in the center. 12 into 1 plus 16 into 2 plus 19 into 2 plus 15 into 2 and the new incoming value is 13 into 1. Total comes to 125. And the next total will be of 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th and 11th value. 9th is in the center and this will be the last total because now onwards we cannot have 5 consecutive values. So this is the third to uh, last total. And 9 is in the center. We are going to write against it. The first will be 16 into 1 plus 19 into 2 plus 15 into 2 plus 13 into 2 and the new incoming value is 9 into 1 and the total comes to 119. Now the sum of the weights is 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus, 2 plus 1 that is 8. Sigma W is 8. And we have already found sigma x values. Sigma x w upon sigma w will be the weighted mean. So we need to divide all these summations by 8. 99 divided by 8. It will be 12.7, sorry 12.125. 99 divided by 8, 12.375. 101 divided by 8, 12.625. 108 divided by 8, 13.5. 119 divided by 8, 14.875. 125 divided by 8, 15.625. And last 119 divided by 8, 14.875. Nothing against last two years as well as the first two years. What exactly did we do? We found four yearly centered moving averages and five yearly weighted moving averages with weights 1, 2, 2, 2, 1 respectively and if we compare these two the result is interesting. Compare the trend values. 12.125, twelve point one two five, twelve point three seven five, twelve point six two five, thirteen point five, fourteen point eight seven five, fifteen point six two five, fourteen point eight seven five. The trade value in both the cases are same. So please write a conclusion at the end of your solution to this case that. The four yearly centered moving averages and the five yearly weighted moving averages with weights 1, 2, 2, 2, 1 respectively are equivalent or are always equal. Or you can write that the four yearly moving, rather four yearly centered moving averages are equivalent to the five yearly weighted moving averages with weights 1, 2, 2, 2 and 1 respectively. Or you can write that the 5 yearly weighted moving averages with weights 1, 2, 2, 2, 1 respectively are equivalent to the 4 yearly centered moving averages. This is actually a general conclusion. It is not like that for this case only it is possible. No. Every time 4 yearly centered moving averages will be equivalent to 5 yearly weighted moving averages if the weights are 1, 2, 2, 2, 1 respectively. If you change weight, then it is not possible. Not only that, this is possible for all other say possible pairs of even period cycles and odd period cycles weighted moving averages. For example, two yearly weight uh, centered moving averages will be equivalent to three yearly weighted moving averages exactly with weights 1 to 1, 4 and 5 are there, 6 yearly centered moving averages will be equivalent to 7 yearly weighted moving averages with weights 1, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 1 respectively and so on. So this is a general conclusion. 
That's it. Thank you very much.